Hi guys, VST here, Venice Peace Tech. Today I'm gonna show you how you can install the Mi Control Center so that you can kind of like redesign your whole experience. Let me just show you what I mean. So if you're tired of using your Android skin, whatever phone you have, you can just go install Mi Com Control Center and then you're gonna have this control center and your notifications are going to appear like that and it's really pure joy. By the way, I'm gonna use my Samsung SM Plus phone to prove it because Samsung phones are usually very heavy to customize without any special software. You cannot change the stock launch and stuff like that. But this one here, this overhaul really proves the whole point. You can probably do this in a very quick, easy steps. But before we do this guys, I just want to show you how you can subscribe to my channel if you like it. So you need to click here on the subscribe button. Make sure that you also hit this uh, bell icon Every time I upload a new video, you're gonna get notified just like that. All right, this is my subscribe hammer here, right? So you need to go type Mi Control Center, download the application, set it up. It will require some user access and notification access. Once this has been set up, guys, you're able to just open it and boom, there it is. And just let me show you what happens without it. So this is really a stock Samsung SM Plus phone. You know, we have here the very traditional notification drawer you know and also if you just do it like this or like this it's still the same so you have the notification and also you have the control center in one and again it's not bad but you know it might be boring it doesn't really matter if you use oneplus phone or let's say any other phone you know if you don't want to get like the, the me control center experience you just need to download this app when you open the app you must be sure that you type here not running and then you need to enable some access point guide. It will request access to your notification and also access to the users. And once it's done, it's pretty much it guys. You know, you can then start heavily to customize it. I pretty much like the idea, you see, right now when you just swipe from the center, you're gonna get presented with this nice control center, which of course is looking a little bit like the ones we have on the iOS, which we know is not a secret, inspired me why redesigns, yeah. When you just scroll from the right side, you're gonna get your notification. When you scroll from the left side or you scroll from the center, you get the control center, but that's not all. It's really when the fun part starts because again, it's heavily customized. And you can see, by the way, you can just go for control center or you can just go for notification shade. If I just do it like this, every time I just scroll, I'm gonna get my notifications. Now on the Samsung is not perfect because it kind of overlaps, you can see with the stock draw on the back, you see what happens here, okay, but still it does work. So the better option is to go for control center, then it's all good, you know, it just works as if it's stock. Again, one swipe from the center gets you to the control center, one swipe from the right gets you to the notifications. Now when I open it again, guys, I will just show you some of the fancy thing you can do. Apparently, you can swipe these two, so right now we know status bar touch area is controls and notification, but you can do it like this. So right now what I'm gonna have is you swipe like that in the center, we're gonna have the notifications, and when you swipe like here, you're gonna have the control center, and really, I mean, that's just very small in terms of functionality but i kind of like it so you can apparently swap the status bar touch area and again that's not even yet the funny part the funny part starts here with the settings because when you go to layout you're gonna see this is really heavily customizable so let's go for small corners okay you see what happens here now the corners changed if we go here also they're not surrounded if i remove this option and i just show you it's a little bit more rounded okay you can also change the grid tiles right then you have also the tile grid, and then you have also the tile size but then again it's a paid up check this circular battery indicator if i do it like this guys you're gonna see here we have the battery indicator okay when i enable it and i do like this guys you apparently can see it and you can apparently just restart the phone it's all integrated it's very nice right now i have this one called life blur on the background type you can go for a solid color life blur i think it's the best one because it kind of like blurs the background but you can go for a stock color here right then you have the auto dark mode you can apparently enable and disable that one brightness slider color right now you see it's white but you can apparently change it to something red and you see when we scroll down here see wow it's red you know these kind of like little things which kind of are missing in most of the standard phones layouts no matter if it's one ui which is really heavily packed with features or it's oxygen os or another one right i pretty much like it i probably will keep this on my samsung galaxy because the control center just looks bigger looks more fancy so if you want to pimp up your phone guys download the mi control center check all the settings there if you like buy the app if not just use it free like i do and i hope you like the video right and with that said i wish guys that you have a very nice rest of the day vst over and bye